Chrystia Freeland here looks like she is extremely high. Oh, wait a minute. That's not Chrystia Freeland. Oh, that's her. So guys, in the past, I've seen election interference. And this election interference case, they say it was in 2019 and 2021. It's actually in 2016, 2019 and 2021. Now, now the Chinese government, the people, well, the people, it has nothing to do with the Chinese government, but the people involved were China, from China. Now, if you would interfere you yourself in an election, you're obviously going to help someone get elected that will help you get something that you need. You're not just going to push for random people to get elected. So I'm assuming here, this is my opinion, and I'm pretty sure it's pretty accurate, that Justin Trudeau told these people that interfered in the election which people he would select in his government. Now, this whole thing started when Justin Trudeau, in 2016, on November 22, this article is on Globe and Mail, but it's pretty accurate. So in 2016, Justin Trudeau was accused of attending a cash for access or pay for access fundraiser with Chinese billionaires. He went at the home of a Chinese billionaire to do a fundraiser and the only people that were there were all Chinese. How do we know that? Apparently there was a picture from the person who owned the, the house. This person took a picture of all the people there during the, the whole thing. Obviously they're taking proof to have something against Justin. They took a picture and hanged it in the house of Justin Trudeau doing uh, stuff that he shouldn't be doing. You could see in the picture that it was just Chinese billionaires. Now, let's just say, for example, there was one of the guys that was there that needed his bank to be approved. He wanted to start a bank in Canada that would have only Chinese customers that would deal mainly with citizens of China or Chinese based uh, citizens of Canada. And guess who approved this bank in 2016 or 2019? Bill Morneau. So Bill Morneau, for sure has something to do with this election interference. All these Chinese dudes that were there, you know what they need, you know what they need, and you know who they were told to push for because of what these people that were there, that were there needed. There was a bunch of Chinese people and I looked it up and I can tell you for, for a fact, needed the help of the finance minister, the defense minister, the minister of foreign affairs, just, justice minister, I'm 100% sure that in the 12 people I will name, the 11 MPs that were involved are in this list of people without including Justin Trudeau, which is obviously involved. He probably told them, you know, this is just my opinion, guys. Like I don't have access to any private information. It's just logical stuff. They're not going to pay for random people. To, they're not going to influence people to get elected if they don't need them and what they need. So let's go. So I'm just going to name them and after that we can go look at their exact positions and a lot of these people are not in the government anymore. It's strange. There was Bill Morneau, Navdeep Baines, Jane Philpott, Carolyn Bennett, Christia Freeland, Catherine McKenna, Harjit Sajan, I'm not sure how to say his name, Miriam Monsef, Karina Gould, Bill Blair, Philomena Tassi and Mary and Angie. They actually were told by someone who knew he was going to choose them for his cabinet. Like, they're not going to just push for random people that are not in the cabinet. That's 100% sure. And that person who told him who he was going to choose for that cabinet, I'll let you guess who it is. It was Donald Trump. No, <laughs> it was the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau who told them that they would be in the cabinet, obviously. So Philomena Tassi, at that moment, she was Minister of Labor, so they would probably need her. Uh, Mary Ann G, she was in Markham, Thornhill, and she was Minister of International Trade when this whole thing happened. Maryam Mosef, Minister of International Development. And Harjit Sejan, look at his roles, like... <laughs> Minister of the King's Privy Council of Canada, just that. Katrina, Katrina McKenna, she was, I believe she was in St. Paul. Minister of Infrastructure and Communities, so she might have been needed for that stuff. And she was part of the COVID-19 committee. Oh no, St. Paul is this one, Carolyn Bennett. 
So I believe Carolyn Bennett, if she was involved, it was not knowingly, and it was because they needed her writing. Jane Philpott, she was fired because she was involved in the SNC-Lavalin scandal, and she was the president of the Treasury Board, so obviously uh, she was needed for this whole thing. Nev D. Baines, well, he was Minister of Innovation and uh, Science, and uh, no, he was Minister at that moment of Science and Economic Development. But he was in the writing that was probably hard to win. Bill Marnot was uh, the Minister of Finance, so obviously he wasn't there. And uh, Karina Gold, she was Minister of International Development at that moment too. So, And Bill Blair was Secretary of State at that moment. So <laughs> pretty obvious that he would be aware of any election interference. So these people, in my opinion, like I'm pretty accurate right here. All these people were holding positions in government, either that they were, they were going to be aware of what's going on or they were directly involved like in the whole thing. But I just think that Justin Trudeau, for most, for the most part, I just think Justin Trudeau told them what to do and they, you know, sh do, do what you're told or you're getting fired. And I'm pretty sure, you know, when the prime minister gives you an order and you're working for him and he tells you to do something, you can do it. And a lot of these people either got fired or they left. So like there's something that happened behind the scenes that we don't know in most, in most situations, and I think it has to do with this election interference, where people didn't want to work for Justin Trudeau and be involved in nefarious stuff or illegal stuff, you know. So I'm going to leave it at that. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and thanks for watching. Folks, don't be pooping on the beach. Simple as that, man.